Hello. 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 Classical. <clears throat> Classical opening. Troll. Classical chess 960 openings. What is my computer doing? That's not a good sign. The Sicilian. Wow, this is cool. It's like normal chess. Just our rooks on g8 and our knights on h8. Troll's gonna get destroyed in this game. I mean, it's practically normal chess. I don't know what was going on with my my computer. It was doing all sorts of weird stuff. The audio I had like six I had like six instances of Skype. Six instances of of I had like eight I had one Firefox page open, there were eight instances. There was like eight instances of Google. It was doing all sorts of crazy shit with like millions of of instances of every program that was running. What's up? Short stream today, I, I mean, because of the time change business, I have to leave early, which sucks. Sorry about that. No, I never want to leave you guys early. Welcome, Princess Chess. With a high five for Acerbate. I don't know. No, it wasn't... It was my computer, like, opening a million instances of every program that was running. I don't understand, man. We'll have to talk to Bill Gates. It wasn't simply a question of Skype using my microphone. It was, like, frozen. It seemed like my mic, my mic was, like, frozen. But it wasn't the only issue. We start early and leave, and leave late. Dude, that's, like... That's perfect. Start Start late and leave early. Yeah. Talk to the daylight savings time people. It's not my call. What do you mean? Something still pop up? Seven viewers. Welcome to Princess Chess, B Jack, Arsenal fan, Astrobate. Thanks for your generosity. But what did you mean by that? Something still pop up. Troll is a dead man in any kind of normal normal chess position. This starting position was too close to normal chess for him. I actually know what I'm doing. But he can still play a decent game, but he doesn't have his normal like chess nine sixty advantage. <clears throat> extraordinary times call for extraordinary measures. Yeah, yesterday Mr. Coffee claimed he heard, like, a USB sound. But system sound should be turned off, so I don't understand what that's about. I don't have any system sounds. I can't hear my own system sound, so you guys definitely shouldn't be able to hear it. Man, give me, give me. Troll has tactics? He doesn't do tactics. He just doesn't do it. That's a pawn, yeah. I mean, White has really no... serious compensation for this pawn. It's a nice try, sort of.
Yeah, that's weird. That was like yesterday. Well, anyway, I need a new computer, ultimately. Um, it's okay for traveling on the plane or something, but we'll have to start begging the audience for, for money for a new computer. It's a matter of time, really. I've been using this, this notebook for like three years. Um, it's, it's not that powerful and it's really probably in need of a, need of a, we're in need of a better, a better machine. As I mentioned on the stream before, I, I really bought this like thinking I was going to be traveling on a regular basis and I might as well have bought a desktop. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. You buy like a notebook and then the pandemic starts. Yeah, I've never seen an airplane. I haven't seen the inside of an airplane in like three years. It's great. So what are we doing here? Um, development. He's starting D4, sort of. Ah, oh, he's got me. Got me with D4. Does Troll do that one move tactic? Can you do that? You try what? A fresh install? Well, it's, yeah, I mean, it will be better. It could be, it could be tuned up for sure. Yeah, I'm pretty cheap. I mean, I really don't like to waste money and just buy stuff for sport. I'm not one of those people who buys a new thing every year, but it really isn't a powerful enough machine for what my purposes are, you know? It's a really, really light notebook. I shouldn't be streaming on it, you know? I mean, it's it's just not not really um, appropriate for this. The sound of plugging an Android phone into its charger—that's weird. I don't. Are you sure it's not a USB sound? Troll fell for the. He can't resist a good one-move tactic. Is that a hint that you need to do donations for a PC? Absolutely. I'll tell you guys, though, you know, the worst thing about getting a new PC is, like, you know, transferring everything, your programs, your work, and stuff like that. Setting everything up on a new PC is like a schlag. I, I almost, you know, dread it. It's nice to get a new PC, but it's work too. Ultimately, I'm going to have to do it at some point, like in the next year. We'll start the collection with Agnes Karadzewski, 100 bits. Guys, before I forget, um, before I, do, before I forget, please submit games for the subscriber stream tonight. Sumer, did you already submit a game? Weird. I'm going to assume you did. We've got a short stream today because of daylight savings time. I, I only have like an hour, so. We've got a lot of donations from Troll already. Three pawns? What's a few pawns? What's a few pawns among brothers? We're dropping we're dropping something after rook d eight. We are? Say what? I don't see how I could drop anything in this position. I mean, rook d1 is like his only threat, and that's hanging his bishop on f4. He just resigned. Down several pawns. Yeah, it was bad luck, troll. I mean, you're not designed to play normal chess. Arsenal fan. We've had some interesting games lately. Oh, no. 
I just remembered something. Wait. I saw one of your games. Oh, you played a you played a simul against uh You played in a simul against um Art Vega, right? I should play the Berlin defense. You had a weird game with, with art in the in the art simul. I don't know why I saw that. But we're supposed to play weird openings today, so just 960 always confuses me. Because then I forget what we're doing, what a, what our purpose of our stream is, what the purpose of our stream is. The purpose. Thank you, Agnes Karadzewski, for donating 100 bits to the laptop fund, or computer fund. Maybe I should buy, you know, then, well, that's, that's actually, if I buy a desktop computer, then, like, airfares will, like, drop 50%, and, and they'll be, like, travel costs will magically go down or something. It's like the opposite of whatever I do. Okay, let's try the Elephant Gambit, just for Arsenal. Oh, Knight F6 is a... We'll try the Yababa Gambit. It's a Yababa Elephant. Isn't it Queen takes D5? Does that seem right? Nothing about this seems right. I think I'm supposed to play knight c6. Hmm. That makes sense. Yes, it does. So what options do I have here? I mean, I have to castle queenside. Wow. Wow. All right, weird openings have gone a little too far today. see what else I'm going to do. Can we make like a Flintstone name for Magnus Carlsen? Mag. We need a Mag. Mag sounds like rock. Mag Ma Magma Carls Carlstone. That's awesome. That's perfect. Magma Carlstone. He kind of looks like a Neanderthal, to be honest. He definitely has Neanderthal going on. But, I mean, obviously Neanderthals were intelligent. Alright, H3. Don't discriminate against Neanderthal brothers. <clears throat> no, it's Magma Karlstead. H3 is in the house. Makes sense. Damn, dude. Why is he so fast? Doesn't even think. That's what it is. Arsenal saves time by not thinking. What is that book by that Dutch guy? Move first, think think later or something? 
Blinky, Blinky Hendrix. So what am I doing here? I'm gonna lose a piece somewhere. George Clooney. Is my queen trapped? <clears throat> wow. Wait a minute. Queen A5? Where do you want to go? Do you want to sack a piece? Snack on a piece. Don't like it. Queen A5? Now he castles. Unbelievable. Dude, I mean, it's like 2200. I, um, Arsenal wants to trade queens. Like, there's nothing typical about this. Weird. Like DC4 doesn't work. It feels like I have a tactic. Arsenal, do you play a lot of like 1 0 or why do you move so fast? I think it's like he's hyper. He's like hyper. a good move. Not clear. It's unbelievable. Wait. I feel like we're playing 2-0 time control. I don't even like it. I like this time control you're playing. Why are you playing 2-0 in a 5-3 game? Arsenal. I guess that's the thing that I don't understand. I have this, this, um, I won't call him a student because he's not really taking lessons from me, but there's this one player who, who's paid me recently for taking, for, for doing training games. And, and every time, you know, we do like a 25, 10 training game, he plays it like it's 10 0. Like what's the sense of paying for like, you know, a one hour training game. If you're gonna, if you're gonna play like it's a 20 minute training game, you're not even like getting your money's worth. People are out of control, they just can't use their time. What is with that? Wow, that's crazy to come up with that. You thought of that on the fly? That's unbelievable. He's not using any time, and he comes up with, like, deep pawn sacrifices. Uh, okay. What's happening here? It's like he's drinking Red Bull. Dude, calm down. You need, you need to calm down and just try to play, like... You need to play, like, calm chess. Take a chill pill. You had a good position there, and then you wrecked that. Like, after bishop f8, I think I'm screwed. Like, just d6, and I'm basically... 
a goner. Arsenal should have joined us for our, for our tournament last night. The time control was perfect. Yeah, it's the max for stap and time control. Dude, it's not sudden death. Yeah, the weird thing is he's not really like a bullet player. That's what I don't get about it. Why, why does he play so fast when he doesn't really specialize in bullet? Fast blitz, I guess. That's his... So his highest rating is in Rapid, and most of his games are in Rapid. Rapid Fire. Rapid Fire Threats. Yeah, he reminds me completely of the guy doing the training games. It's like the exact same character. It's unbelievable. You're the same guy. Just rapid fire moves. The object is to like move as fast as you can. I don't get it, guys. Pawn was like hanging on E3 and I didn't take it. Nice. I'm not going to even talk about it anymore. It's like pointless to discuss it. Because I traded Bishop for Knight, it's probably a situation where he has some chances to draw. Realistically, I shouldn't have done that. How did you do that? You snuck across. <clears throat> you snuck across the, the river there. This is just not the right time control. He 
He's turned into like Reapun. Reapun, are you sure you're not Arsenal fan? You like you're the same person now. That's weird. All right. Akshak. Not. Let's see, Suma Harris a subscriber. Guys, please submit games for for this week's subscriber stream tomorrow night. If you are a subscriber, that includes Hey, it's Mira Arsenal, Bijak, who I assume already submitted his game Repunj. Sumer is a subscriber, guys. Short stream today. I only have four to fifty minutes. You managed to create zero conversation from a joke opening, and I let you off. Um. Tell that to Jubaba, right? Who actually plays that gambit? He would be hurt. <clears throat> it's tough to keep coming up with weird openings, kids. That's the theme of the stream. What are we going to do? Well... We're running out of ideas here. I've been playing the Saint Benoni, so what what can I do? Oh, the Vulture. We can play the Vulture. I've never played the Vulture. I just don't understand why. I mean, I'm, this is a broader thing than than Arsenal, but everyone is playing too fast. Almost everyone, at least in the increment time control, you know. And I mean, I'm seeing that throughout all the different time controls: Blitz, Rapid, Classical. Everyone plays too fast. Sudden death is a different thing. But you cannot play for flag when, when the opponent has an increment of more than one second. But nobody listens to me. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, if you play over the board, I mean, pretty much all of the board tournaments now have increment. If you play in, like, any kind of league, league chess, Anything with digital clocks. Yeah. You don't need to use all your time in the long games, I guess. I would, I would imagine in tough games, if you're playing other players who are your level, it's going to start to happen where you need to use all your time at some point. So F3... Have a good day. But he's giving me the dark square bishop. It's a big problem. Because, like, almost all of his pawns are on white squares. I'm just taking out my frustrations on you, Arsenal, because it's like yesterday. People are doing this against me in like 25 plus 10. Um. You're trying to, like, help somebody by playing training games with them, and they don't use their time. And then, like, lose an ending. A drawn ending, because they play too fast. I mean... Or they, they don't use their time, then they, like, start thinking when they get a lost position. Oh, at least you had a good position. 
What I, I like the best is when people don't use their time at all until they have a lost position. And then they start thinking, well, it's too late, you know. But it's just, I, I can't take it anymore. It's my new. Yesterday I lost two games of sudden death because I'm not used to it anymore. <laughs> but the art of time management is severely underrated. Yeah, Sig Sumer also tends to play too quickly, but okay, this game he spent a little more time because he was he was seeing an opening for the first time. Which is a good idea. You know, when you encounter something new, that's a good reason to take your time, of course. Hey, I think I'll play instantaneous moves when I encounter something new. Seems like a good policy. No. The dark squares. I'm not sure about this tension here. How do I best resolve this or not resolve it? Related to crime management. Man, yesterday I played a 10 0 game against an anonymous player. And I, back, I basically. Never had this happen, but he, he like flagged me. He wasn't that good, but he didn't make like massive blunders and I actually like lost on time. It's really weird. Usually the anonymous players are kind of weak and you just like casually can beat them. But this guy was like good enough that he didn't make blunders and then eventually was able to just like flag me in the under a minute situation. I had a I had rook versus I had rook and bishop versus rook. And I was trying to checkmate him. And I literally lost on time. Not blundering. Make people good. Well it's not enough. You know, I mean if you want to be like a twenty one hundred It's just not, it's not quite good enough. There's more to chess than not plundering, believe it or not. It goes a little deeper than that. Anyway, I try to use my time to, to understand the game. Well, I mean, blunders are relative, but I mean, this guy didn't make anything more than, you know, inaccuracies and slight mistakes. So he managed to make it to an ending with Rook versus Rook and Bishop and flagged me while I was trying to checkmate him. It's pretty funny. Funny haha. So Sunher took his time much more so than our last opponent, but he had a more difficult position. You know, another thing that comes up in my mind is that, okay, Arsenal's game where he was like better the whole time versus Sumaher where he's misplayed the opening and he's worse. I think that some people think that you don't need to use time when you're better, but I disagree. That's kind of the philosophy of, you know, we only think if we have a lost position or something. I think good positions are, are still a place where you should use time. Deep, huh? Deep thoughts. 
I'm gonna fortify. I'm gonna fortify the C5 guy. So F5 break anybody? Should be H6. What do I do? I know it's very profound. Troll and roll has a respect respectable vocabulary. Your English is pretty good, troll. Profound. Wow. This is profound. All right. Um, future belongs to those who has the bishops. Perhaps, perhaps not. This knights are pretty good. This knights. I'm gonna have to give up one of these bishops, aren't I? Sadly. Well, not yet. Actually, his knight on e2 is hanging. Hanging. Oof. Rookie eight. That's crazy. I don't want to do that. That was my original plan. I'm gonna bail on that. This position is a little creepy, but it's probably good for me. A little too creepy for my taste. The long diagonal has got to be worth something, huh? Ooh, that's a good move. Gotta love that king f2. Oh, he's almost losing on time. Good job, Sumer. Taking your time. Now, now play well with the increment. Yeah, he's in trouble. This bishop is a... It's a demon. Oops, there goes the central pawn. Yeah, he had to play rook d1. What's stronger, rooks? I mean, bishops or knights? Sadly, bye-bye. Goodbye. He's got a good king. The good king. There he is. Here's Johnny. Damn, dude. Oh, no. Unbelievable. Shows excellent technique. Wow, it's like perfect. Perfect technique, I would say. He has good in-game technique for a young dude. Well, relatively young. Yeah, this tactic... This tactic is sketchy. Not fully calculated. I don't know, you tell us, Repun, how do you do that? May I introduce? Okay, Astrobate is introducing his game for this week's. Repun, did you submit a game for this week? Alright. Hey, it's me, Myro. I never know. Some people say Myro and some people say Miro. Miro? No, I guess Miro is more common. Miro. Miro. Alright, um... Miro, Miro on the wall. 
Guys, I have to leave early, sadly. I'm sorry, I don't want to leave you, but I have to leave in like 35 minutes. So it was just a short stream today. Okay, that was the vulture. Um, will he play quickly or will he stall? Stall? I've got to think up, I need time to think up weird openings. So the elephant gambit did not bode well. Go with the Latvian. I don't remember if I played the Latvian against him before. Maybe Mr. Slow would know. Oh. He knows everything. He remembers everything. Is this an actual variation? Hmm. G4. I like G4 there. Yeah, it's not it's not critical probably. It's probably not that bad for him, but not a critical um attempt to refute the Latvian. Will, will Vladimir Putin play the Latvian Gambit? Versus the NATO defense. Alright, don't talk about the war. It's so hard. Like, all we hear about is the war. It's so hard not to get political on the stream. But it's 24-7 and it just... Chess is a nice escape. Let's let's just escape. Game is right in the DM. Wait, what? What does that mean? The DM? I'm on the Eastern Front. It's easier when you're laid back at Buckingham Palace. Like Arsenal. Nothing to worry about. It's not going to start like bombing the south of England. He's like a backseat driver. Alright. Knight G4. How about queen f7? Where do I put my queen here, by the way? Who would play knight g4? Why did he do that? Why didn't he just... Why did he do this? Why didn't he just play, like, knight c4 in the first place and keep the tension? <laughs> Arsenal fan speaks Welsh. Alright. What are we gonna do? Doug Llewellyn is his name. He's a famous game show host. Where am I gonna go? Queen G5? I don't know. Am I next? Yeah, you're the next subscriber. Wait, was Doug Llewellyn... The only Welsh name I can think of. Was Doug Llewellyn a game show host? Is that right? Am I remembering that? Was that like Hollywood Squares or something? I just banned you for fun. We hadn't banned you in a while. <laughs> Why was I banned yesterday? Sheer pleasure. Just for my own. I 
I just miss banning you. You've been behaving better lately. Arsenal woke up. He woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning, clearly. Alright. Yeah, this is interesting. What do I do? I guess I should just develop, but it feels like I need to reinforce that. Reinforce that pawn on e4. Going to work. What's work? I work, it's just not, it's just a, it's not a conventional sort of work. But Hayes Firo is interesting. He doesn't have the rapid fire um, speed of Arsenal fan, but he's sort of, he's quick. He never spends too much time on any moves, so he sort of deceptively plays fast. It's starting to feel like a real, normal Laffy, and my queen's on f6. But again, white's missing their dark square bishop. But it's unlike Sumahara's game, where he had like all of his pawns on white squares. Hayes Miro has mostly, you know, kind of dark square pawns. The majority of pawns are on dark squares, so... The, the fact that he doesn't have a dark square bishop doesn't... It doesn't affect his position as badly as, as Sumaher. What is this? What are you doing? Queen a5 is the plan. Is that seriously your plan or what, man? Queen h5 check. Oh my god. Need to get him therapy. Time to get some sleep. Wow. Speaking of the dark squares. See, it's good when you have lost position and three minutes on the clock. Do you guys... Oh, hey, Asmiro, important question. Is there daylight savings time in Alaska? I can never remember. There is. Oh, did you see... Did anyone notice that the United States Senate unanimously passed uh, a law to to per make make daylight savings time permanent yesterday? It's unbelievable. It was it was like bipartisan, not even like anticipated, and it's gonna start in like twenty twenty three. I, c I can't believe they would agree on anything. That's pretty crazy. So now, it'll it'll be daylight savings time in Europe, but not in in the United States. He survived this insanity. That's crazy. You guys will never believe what I hallucinated. I've been thinking you could castle queenside. I can't remember why I why did I why did I um time you out the other day? Maybe for asking too many questions or something. It must have been that's what it was. <laughs> it's just why not queen takes b2? It's a tactical. Tactical reason. I'll just leave it at that. I was irritated. Everybody knows the stream was lagging. You're like stating the obvious when I'm... Yeah. That's why I timed you out. You're being cap... Captain Obvious. Knight C4. Oh 
Yep. Why not queen takes b2? Uh-oh. He's got a minute, 36 to 12 seconds. Guys, I have to leave in 20, 25 minutes. Time for two more games. You just did that? Wow. That's awesome. Queen takes d7, that's it. Does that just lose? Did your tactic just lose? I told him to play knight takes e4, and he listened to me. Never listen to your opponent. It's the first rule of chess. This should be four dubious. Did I ever have queen takes b2? For real? It was risky. He would get down on my c8 square, man. This is a big problem. I, I didn't like that. But I forgot I would be defending b7. So it turns out it was good. It didn't occur to me that I was protecting b7, Rippon. If I had realized it was protecting b7, I probably would have done it. Yeah. I was thinking my b7 point was weak and I was going to get in trouble. Now you know the answer. Take care, Arsenal fan. Have a nice day. We should all buy, like, we should pitch in and buy Arsenal fan one of those, like, smiley face t-shirts. The big yellow smiley face. He can wear that to work. All right. Or maybe the one with like the gunshot wound in the smiley face had like blood dripping out of it. I've seen those. He can wear that on his happy days to work. F5 is very, very dangerous. There's some cool, there's some cool variations in this. Now, I can't remember if I'm supposed to play bishop b4 or bishop c5. If bishop b4, he has, like, queen b4, so I guess I answered my own question. I guess we have to play bishop c5. To control that square. When I'm having technical trouble with the stream... And there's like 10 people telling me that it's lagging. The 11th person gets like automatically timed out. It's just the way it works. It's like buy 10, get one free. The 11th customer. All right. Knight f6, e5, knight g4. Guys, we have, we have time for another game after this. Linky. Oh, we have two. I don't know if the lizard is is a subscriber, but Linky is. Lizard, are you really in Ukraine? Or are you just a sympathetic? I think he must really be from Ukraine. He's UA. UA1RZ. Wouldn't want to be in Ukraine, but I'm close enough. Okay, takes, takes. Well, hopefully the thing will get resolved by diplomacy. 
Oh, you have a strong move. Damn. I think I miscalculated this. Every game I have the Dark Sword Bishop, but he has he has a move here. Is knight f6 a mistake? Where, where else should I go? Just d6 or something? That allows bishop b5 check. I'm not crazy about it. So after knight f3, what is black's best move? Knight e7? Blocking my queen? That looks kind of lame. No, Repun did a good job. I think it's reasonable. Reasonable setup. Wow, that can't be right. That can't be right, Master. h3 is kind of slow. So why don't you have the obvious e5, knight g4, knight e4. That actually allows me to play maybe bishop e3, but I'm not sure that's so good for black. Castle, e5, knight h5. Nothing wrong with castle. Castle's g4. d5. d5. d5, e5. Or bishop d3. b6 is too slow. Knight h5 right away. Doesn't develop. Castle's allows g4. So this is kind of a tricky question. Um, if I castle, he really plays g4. And it looks like an issue. So if I play knight h5 right away, it looks like I'm not developing. I could even play knight e2 there. That doesn't look right. Knight to h5, f5. My last challenge, Lakey. Peter Lakey. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Thank you for the hundred. 100 bits from Agnes Karadewski. No guest subs today. Short stream. Tomorrow we'll be back tomorrow night with a real stream. Tomorrow night subscriber stream. F5. Common idea in this variation. But... I am a skeptic. Skepticush. <clears throat> like A4. my god. Me. Me. What a crazy idea, sir.
But not so crazy, actually. Maybe he's not so crazy. So knight g3. Could play knight g3. I'm gonna lose on time. Well, what was the plan? To play like knight takes f3? That's not so great. Knight f3, queen f3, queen h4 check. King d1, I guess. Then I have to take back on e6. It's unclear. It's as good as anything, probably. I have rook f8 later. Actually, why would I take on e6? So rook f8, completing my development. He can play g3, but I don't really know if it's any good. I don't see how trading queens is good for white. So rook f8. <clears throat> How's your development? Development. Damn, dude. This is unhealthy. That is an unhealthy king, if there's ever been one. Yeah, knight g3 at some moment. He's not allowed to castle. Foo. Let's not check. Tricked me. Pretty funny mate, dude. How does that happen? How does this position happen? Seriously. Alright, last game. It's hard to come up with, with something fun against the Sicilian that we haven't played before. The brick opening. Isn't there a brick opening? Like Knight H3 or something? It's like one of the Hulk's hands. It's really just a kind of closed Sicilian. Sorry guys, I have to leave early today. So this is the last game. Hulk smash. 
But, you know, I mean, I guess I could try F4, but I don't like leaving my knight on the side. Yeah, black's perfectly fine. I mean, E5, I don't know. I guess it's not bad. What about bishop check? Nothing. You probably want your bishop here. E5 is not a bad move. Normally I'm streaming for another hour, everybody, but I have to leave early this week due to s sort of uh, time change. Time changing. Do you really want to give up your white square bishop? Maybe. You can try it. Trade white square bishop at your own risk. Alright. Maybe it's not that bad. Black can try for a... Try for a um, dark square blockade. Delayed release. Extended release formula. Oh, he wants, now he wants to keep his white square bishop. That's a different story. If you want to trade knight for knight, we're going to have to talk about it. I have bishop g5 here, but he just takes. But he is, he is kind of far behind in development. 1300. 93 is just weak. Too slow, too weak. We're going to do it. Avoid exchanges. D5 is too risky. F5 is too risky. His knight is misplaced on D6. So I'm going to guide myself by that okay you can say well my knight's misplaced here but not as bad as the knight on b6 the knight wishes it was on c6 it's like looking at c6 wishing it was there he's so sad he's not on c6 but maybe I shouldn't play a5 we'll see looks like black's position is almost reasonable Ooh, a5. Very radical. Radical, man. Radical. Okay, now we just do the the sort of standard f4. Threatening f5. Does he have an answer? Antidote. What's the antidote? If he ever plays f5, he's going to drop the b7 pawn to my bishop. Antelope. Antelope, antidote. The antidote to antelope. Nine viewers? What? Wow. What's going on? Wednesdays are are bad. Where is everyone? On Wednesday. Bishop H6. 
six. We need a new stream title. Destruction of noobs isn't working. Well, I gotta get out of here anyway. I shouldn't have even bothered, but we had a couple interesting games. Yeah, I mean, you can't. You can't abide by this move. You cannot trade your Dark Square Bishop off. You need that. You need Dark Square Bishop to prevent total devastation. Never take candy from strangers. Acerbate knows that. Have another. Have another, brother. You don't trade your bishop without a permission slip. No trading bishops for knights, right? It's just horrible for black. Yikes. Okay, this is an easy one. Now here. Now hear this. We didn't want his knight like coming to c5 and e6 where it defends g7. I also have rook f4. So even king h8 doesn't doesn't defend. In, in a lot of variations, although maybe it it survives here. Well, that's a good idea. Where did you get that idea? Where did he find that? I have a funny idea here. Take my bishop. Well, don't lose on time. Bishop blocker. Was it, was there any defense after e5? Does e5 really work? No, it doesn't work. Damn. It was a lie. Wow, e5 is a blunder. Why doesn't it work? He takes here. I don't get it. I have queen here, rook g8, and rook f4. I don't understand. He has queen f8. Oh no. Yeah, I totally missed the time for queen f8. So this is all a lie. It didn't work, I was too fancy. I shouldn't have played... I shouldn't have played that. I just have to make some kind of ordinary move now. I can't force mate. Okay, gotta go. Thanks everyone for joining me. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.